Our story begins more than two million years ago, when early humans began shaping stones into tools. These simple implements, hand axes, scrapers, and spears, gave our ancestors an edge in survival. Fire was another groundbreaking discovery. It wasn't just warmth or protection, it allowed cooking, which made food easier to digest and supported the growth of the human brain. Later, the invention of the wheel around 3500 BCE in Mesopotamia revolutionized transport and trade. Imagine a world without wheels. No carts, no wagons, no pottery wheels for shaping vessels. This was one of humanity's first tech booms. Technology advanced with civilization. Egyptians built pyramids with ingenious methods of transport and stone cutting. The Greeks gave us gears, watermills, and even early computers like the Antikythera mechanism used to track astronomical movements. The Romans built roads, aqueducts, and concrete structures that still stand today. Their innovations in infrastructure created networks of trade and communication across Europe. Technology was no longer just about survival. It became about power, culture, and expansion. After the fall of Rome, Europe entered the Middle Ages. While sometimes seen as dark, this period saw crucial innovations. Heavy plows, horseshoes, and windmills transformed agriculture. Around the 9th century, Chinese inventors created gunpowder, paper money, and the compass, technologies that spread worldwide. And then in the 15th century, Johannes Gutenberg's printing press changed everything. Knowledge could now spread quickly, fueling the Renaissance, the Reformation, and eventually the scientific revolution. With better ships and navigational tools, explorers crossed oceans. This global contact spurred trade, but also colonization. Technology was shaping not just tools, but human history itself. In the 17th and 18th centuries, scientists like Galileo and Newton applied mathematics and experimentation to nature. The stage was being set for the Industrial Revolution. The late 18th and 19th centuries saw perhaps the most dramatic leap forward in technology. Steam engines powered factories, trains, and ships. Textile machinery changed how clothes were made. Telegraph wires carried messages across continents. Electricity soon followed, powering light bulbs, telephones, and cities. For the first time, technology wasn't just aiding survival or trade. It was transforming society at a massive scale. Urbanization, new jobs, and even new social classes emerged. But so did challenges, pollution, child labor, and inequality. Technology was powerful, but it wasn't always used for good. The 1900s exploded with innovation. Cars, airplanes, and radios connected the world in new ways. The world wars, tragic as they were, accelerated inventions like radar, antibiotics, and nuclear energy. By mid-century, computers were born. The first were massive machines filling entire rooms. Yet by the 1970s and 80s, microchips shrunk them down into personal computers. The space age symbolized humanity's boldest leap from Sputnik in 1957 to the moon landing in 1969. Technology was no longer just earthly, it was cosmic. In the 1990s, the internet transformed communication, commerce, and culture. Mobile phones, once bulky and rare, became pocket-sized and essential. By the 2000s, smartphones combined computing, photography, and global connectivity in one device. Social media connected billions, reshaping politics, relationships, and even identity. Technology had become not just a tool, but part of daily life. Today, we stand in the era of artificial intelligence, biotechnology, and renewable energy. AI can analyze data, translate languages, and even generate speech, much like what you're hearing right now. 
but with progress come questions. How do we balance innovation with ethics? How do we ensure technology serves humanity, not the other way around? What happens when machines can think or when humans can engineer life itself? From stone tools to smartphones, the history of technology is really the history of humanity. Every invention reflects not just what we can do, but what we dream of doing. And if history teaches us one thing, it's this. Technology never stops. The future will bring new tools, new challenges, and new possibilities. The question is, how will we choose to use them?